And then this could be ace king and queens and jacks. Not enough to fold for sure. It's not a spot that makes me super cozy inside. But here we go. Huge spot. Tony with blinds, so I think that he's gonna check raise a lot of his top pairs. Actually, I actually think I'm just gonna barrel this hand. Sucks to get blasted off my equity though. That's nice. That is nice. It just felt like any. You know, it's one of those things where against the big blind, generally you don't want to see lower cards. Like Broadway cards are good for the button, but here I just felt like anything under like an eight is good for me. What are these fucking two guys doing? Okay. The beaker looks good. I actually thought about changing it today to uh, something else. You know, gives me more bluffs as well. So it's time, but it's time for me to hit the gym program again. I am going to gym. Oh fuck! Oops. More people did also because of my. Uh, changes between YouTube and Twitch and so forth. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm quite ecstatic about. Expect to get called super light here. But then again, we don't need to because I have fucking ace queen in it. Even some of his happy calls like ace jack, ace 10, we crush. Nice sessions heating up. You can tell. Bleep, 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 bleep. Thoughts on later edge mystery bounty, but on later edge and regular bounty. Yeah, yeah. It's absolutely fine to later edge mystery bounties. No problem with that. I would, I would say that I'm not an expert on things like that, but a lot of my friends uh, max late rage mystery bounty, so... Okay, this is... Fuck, if I have ace jack, I have an easy fold. This is quite a decision, but I mean, first is a check, a bet, a raise, and then it being a one k. Ah, yeah, yeah, this is the problem. Yeah, it sucks. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. I thought they would just fold, I say maybe there. Or um, just see that it's or not open it, to be really honest. That's where it starts, right? I didn't think they would open ace 8 or even ace 9. So then the list of hands that I beat grows thin. And you can't just take kids out of school. We don't want that either. So we wouldn't even want that, and we don't, and we can't, so. Suck it. That one is a tough cookie. Ooh, this is an open. Is it, you ask? What an improvement. Um, this is a 1k. I don't know if I like my overbit on the turn. I guess I guess a big blind on a Broadway card is pretty good. Uh, he's not gonna defend that much 10x. Some, of course. Counterfeit 5 4, King 4, King 5. At the bottom of my range, I feel like we should just be jamming now. Nice. Oh, 
isn't it nice when it works isn't it nice when it works mm. 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 so yeah i'd rabbit hunt and as a streamer it's an insane feature of course so Best bundle, best bundle for small stakes. Uh, yeah, like Ruthena saying, if you go to BBC start command, could you just very close to raising, I guess. If I have King Jack, I'm raising Jack 10. Maybe she just raised this one too. I don't know. Mm. Mm -hmm. Workout. All right, so this is the what I was talking about. If you want to learn about three betting small, I mean, some three bets are four big blinds, four and a half big blinds when you get shorter. If you want to learn about the intricacies of it, Pwn Diddy did a whole bundle uh, course, I should say now, I guess, on BBZ about it. It's gonna jam. Uh, should I jam? No. Generally with kings, when ranges are wide, you want to jam to deny ace 5 equity, but range are pretty narrow here, so I don't want him to 3-bet like fold jacks or 10s. 4-bet folds. So I'm just going to check raise this flop and get it in. And then if they have aces, I'll be super sad because it's a 1k. And we're playing against an aggressive player. One of those things you jam you get called by queens you're super happy you jam you get called by aces you think oh fuck you jam they fold you're sort of relieved it's one of those weird spots but it's just like you know not much you can do to get it in i'm still doing very well against this range though that's something important to uh, realize Shit, we got a big stack. We're chipping in. <laughs> nice. That is exactly the part that got me insanely interested, Ravel okay. That is where I was like, holy shit. And I understand the challenge is already brutal. 100%. You know, and good for him, like we're talking about it, right? So, But I feel like it misses something that makes it fucked up a little bit. For people to really be like, you know, I can't wait to see what happens, or for people to really like, I, I just need to watch again because I need to see if if he does X Y Z and and how do you build off it, right? Like, what is going to happen now? Are you going to play live? Are you going to continue streaming? Wow, multi-way over, but how oh, very cool. Multi-way over, but I haven't done that much of that one a lot. Almerick's wild, wildly, wild player, but also wildly good. Is that how you say that? Wow, nice. We get to barrel this all the way home. I feel very relaxed this session. Hmm. That's in the one guy. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 
I think I'll just jam. Yeah, I really hate the idea of getting shoved on by 15, 16 with my stacks with this hand. It's very important to, to always think of that very critically though, so that you're not taking the easy way out, right? Taking the easy way out costs you so much money in poker. I hate, I hate feeling like I'm playing something too weak. Because I feel like when I finesse stuff, then obviously these guys are just gonna annihilate me, right? In finesse spots. They just have more knowledge, study more, all that stuff. So if they also run me over because I don't play aggressive enough or I don't value but too thinly, poof. Which I guess you can also call finesse, of course. Malaka style. Nice. Get out. Then exclamation point home game. It's a good way to start. Alright guys, I'm gonna win a gold package. I'm calling it now. I have never won a gold package or a silver uh, a gold pass or a silver pass from a power path. Bosses live with up Jenny 1 1. Okay, again, guys, if you want to have a course on small 3 banana. <laughs> Der Pontifex, ja. Was machst du ein Pontifex, Bruder? There's one hand that doesn't need protection, it's pocket aces. Also, we're just not gonna have a whole lot on this flop. Yemen. 1k. 11 people left. Big moment. It's good news. What do you guys think? King Queen Hero call incoming? It's a big call out. Alright. Big my pot, this is big. Come on, ace, queen, club. Oh, fuck. Okay, that was for uh, the lot of it as well. Look at that. We lost this pot, we would have had 300k. I mean, holy shit! 300k on the bubble with second in chips being at 138 with. There would have been eight people left with six in the money. We could have done whatever the fuck we wanted if we won that pot. Holy shit. And now we're just one of the players. Oh. Race pre flop. They better flop a call. Check, check, turn. Nice. Okay, here we go. Final table play, we have kings. I think most of their ace x range might make it five bigs or something. I don't know, they could have ace queen, I guess, etc. I think ace jack might flat or make it five bigs. So I'm thinking I'm gonna be up mostly against hands like jacks and tens. And then this could be ace king and queens and jacks. Not enough to fold for sure. It's not a spot that makes me super cozy inside. But here we go. Huge spot. <sighs> Did anybody order a setup? Did anybody order a setup? Yeah. 
hope you appreciate jet lagged put my alarm at 3 30 in the morning to be here and here i am okay i just needed to get them back he sent me an emote sometime and some big tournaments never talked to him you know so i just wanted to do something <laughs> How's New Zealand so far? Oh, bro. New Zealand is just unbelievable. This, this, this country really stole my heart. It just... If you're talking about like it'll have a special place for always, like what people say, that that is just true to the biggest extent for New Zealand. Okay, okay. I want them all. Alright, good spot. I mean, things can change in a second, though. But obviously, uh, as they're going now, it's really good. Ooh, not a bad person to see go. I mean, Alistair is a beast in his own right, but Servlamin, I think, is very, very fucking tough. Very cool. Chip, longer no, chip leader no more, but we're guaranteed 6k. Look at that. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Probably should not scream. I mean, I'm so sort of like everybody's been sleeping a long time, but it's still nice if they can sleep an hour more, you know what I mean? <laughs> Chip leading once more. Okay. Fuck, man. Don't I call this though? Queen spades. Maybe have a little tickle. Enough to give it a little tickle? No? Okay, cool. Just fuck off, you know? Easy. Easy, huh? This is quite the battle. Three handed. Oh my days. Big ass fucking hands. That was an expensive kings. Alright, nice. We get to make some food after this hands. Let's hope they check back. Bear back. Don't go anywhere. Whatever happens here, it's good that there's some chip movements. Oh, not too bad. <laughs> I was gonna jam this. Final table, last three. <sighs> That's nice. I'm 14 tabling, by the way.
come on. I'm playing too many tables not to click this fast. Kind of sucks, but. Okay. Too bad. Mm. It's gonna jam. Uh, yeah. Plays not that great. Post. Ah, that's so annoying. What are you gonna do Ooh. though? Pair versus eight versus jacks, button versus super aggro, good player, three handed. <sighs> Damn, okay. So start over again. though but it's stressful all right here we go ah uh, damn wow this tournament just okay nice i'm happy with the six and a half k but kings versus tens and then all the hands after so fucking card that uh, super doable three-handed spot it's one of those, you know, where you're like, sort of happy, but also think, well, I'm not so sure. 